get the jobs. Mm. Your condition has to do with the jobs. And I know at the appointed time they shall make all things right. Do not surrender to death. What? 
thing I know for sure is the death of these three evil men is the best thing that ever happened to this kingdom. Yes. Men that will not kill their enemy. A man from Obinoka came and said something very remarkable. I am sorry, my princess. We surely cannot talk about men of Obinoka. Our concern is Oreni Telo Kingdom. Told you that. His name was Ibn Jacob. And I was made to understand that he was such an outstanding king. So why then do we call them evil and inferior when their uncles ruled our land as king before? Why? Does it mean that you just cannot think at all? There was a man with Akala yesterday in our house. And that man actually paid Akala to paint the princess for him. And the man is a total stranger from God knows where. And that was the reason why princess was going to Akalaza. It looks like if there's sense in what you are saying. But I don't know why I find it difficult to believe. So you're telling me you don't believe me? You know I'm not too close to princess. But one thing for sure that she would not be so low to allow a character as Akala to pimp her to a total stranger. Oh, Why are you thanking God? I was just telling Chris about the stranger that came in here yesterday. And she wouldn't believe me. So can you tell her about that stranger? No, no, no. I didn't come here for all that. I came here simply to publish the orders from the chief priest of the Oracle of Akuniko. This is a new dawn here in Oriental Kingdom. Those that open their mouth will say exactly what they know. The gods are angry simply because we are now talking too much of what we don't know. Please do not say I did not tell you what the chief priest said. I have said my piece. I don't believe that the chief priest said that. Where did this see the priest? Okay. As we speak now, Three Ichies have died on the staff of the Oracle of Akuniko. Simply because they said they knew what they don't know. The Ichies that died were Ichie Ofedu, Ichie Ibenebu, and Ichie Egobife. Please, we must open our mouth to say only what we know here in order to look kingdom. Abaka, I have said my peace. Does he mean that this change has a lot <laughs> Please, I don't want to be part of it. I don't know anything. Thank 
She cannot promise what she cannot do. But before you go to Akala, you must go to the priest of Akala and tell him that the man that died on the staff of Africa will have to be brought back to life. He have a part to play in the emerging dispensation. Man will make a strange man of you. When the time comes, do what your heart tells you. Okay, but, but, but I, I don't... I don't know the priest of Africa. How do I find him? You don't have all the time in the world. Get to the remains of the men. They have a part to play in the imagined dispensation. This is my business again with you. The powerful uncle. I thought this whole thing was for me to come here and make money and just go. See, I'm gradually being led into paganism. And you, how did you know that I'm here? Were you hiding before? I asked Uncle Dai, but he told me that you slept in his house. And I knew for certain that you would still be here. I came to see you. Uh, Odibo, do you know the priest of Akumiko? Eh? Yeah. Are you sure you are not one of those animals that move around kingdoms, stealing deities and idols? Odibo, why would you say that? Because I'm beginning to see you as a thief. It was only yesterday that you came to me asking for the sacred dosis. And we are not yet done with that business. And here you are, asking for the shine of our money. 
Listen to me. If you are a thief and have come to steal idols and deities, hey, I want to tell you immediately that Osisim is, is a tree, and surely you cannot steal a tree. The oracle of Akureko is the deadliest oracle on planet Earth. As we speak, three each years are lying dead on the staff of Oracle of Akureko. Listen to me. <laughs> Bundle your miserable body out of this kingdom before it will be too late for you. Wait, 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 wait. Are, are, you, are, you, are you leaving immediately? Of course. Why not? What would I be doing with a thief like you? I want to tell you. If the, the millions you told me of is going to come from sale of deities and idols, please delete my name from the possible beneficiaries of your gains because I'm no longer interested. Odibo, those three elders that died, they have a part to play in the coming dispensation. Are you sure you are not insane? I told you that they are dead and they said they have a part to play in coming dispensation. Can dead men ever play any part in any dispensation? Even you, Odigo. You also have a role to play. Take me to the priest. You never can tell when you become relevant to the kingdom politics. If I discover that you are a thief, that I've come to steal idols and deities from this kingdom, I'm not just going to kill you. I'm going to kill you slowly so that you will feel the pain. I'm going to kill you. First. There is a stranger that came into our kingdom, you see. You are surely talking about a man of heaven who came searching for the secret we see. Who do you know? Are you equally aware that his mission to our kingdom is to become a millionaire? This is a new dawn in already Delos kingdom. Those that open their mouth say something must be sure of what they are saying the laws are great laws our people are now talking too much of what they do is that what you think that i don't know what i'm saying that young man was in my place and before he came to my place he had already visited the sacred position I stand before the shrine to tell you that you have no right to place a fine on that young man. Are you sure you are the one saying this? A stranger has no right to appear before the sacred or sin without a marriage. That man is not a stranger. And in the coming dispensation, he has a part to play. You see? was a strange man that went to our sacred position without a guide. And now again, he had appeared before our great Apunikon shrine. Young man, why are you moving around our kingdom? And you, why are you leading him back? Are you not the same person that told me yesterday that you can't try this stranger? I want you to visit it in your heart. An inspired contract can always be approved. Am I the one you are told? It can still be possible you are not aware that three each year is died today on the staff oracle of Akuneko. What is he talking about? This young man here, he said those each years that died, that they have a part to play in the coming dispensation. He demanded that I should bring him before the chief priest of Akuneko. Who am I to say no? That is why we are here. Why are you not saying anything? This young man is doing everything possible to undermine the relevance of our custom. Why are you not saying anything? I tell you again, this man is not a stranger. May I hear the information? Not for me. 
I want to tell you that you have not been a good friend to me. You're being mad. Why would you say a thing like that? I asked you to disclose the identity of the man who has stolen my love for the princess. But you have refused to do that. Why? You know what? I really don't have a lot of time to spend here. You are deviating from what you called me for. And I will appreciate you if you have whatever you have to tell me to tell the princess. Just say it and straight to the point, please. Okay. Can you sincerely tell me the reason the princess does not want to be my bride? Um, I think she actually found out to end to fall. And you know her kind of person? She's really not comfortable with that. I want you to be sincere with me. Do you believe I went to fraud? <laughs> Everybody knows that. That's a common knowledge. Personally, I don't have a problem with that. But the woman you want to marry, she's not feeling at home with it. Should I tell you the truth? Yes. I am not into fraud. And what would you call that? What I do is called oil laundering. Illegal sale of it's not fraud because I sell a product and people pay to have it. You see, Obina, the mere fact that you called it illegal sell or crude oil, it automatically makes it a negative business. And the Princess Lynn, that you and I know, she wouldn't want to get involved with a man who is into illegal business. You know that. I think it's about time I told you something I'm sure she doesn't. And what would that be? Her father, the king, is also part of this business of oil laundry. See, Obina, Obina, you have to be very mindful of what you say. Why are you involving the king with this criminal act? I really don't like it, honestly. You know I like him and respect him a lot. Sir, in short. I'm only telling you this because I want you to understand that she's just turning against me for nothing. Listen, her father the king and my father got to be friendly because of this business. We got to be throttled. I'm only planning a huge future for her. That's all. I am not into fraud. I mean, if she's against my business, then she should be against her father's main source of income. Are you sure of what you're saying? I don't say things I'm not sure about. The king may be incapacitated, but his boys work every day to remit money into his account. Oil money. The only difference is that we're not registered with the government. But mind you, some government officials are part of this. Wait, 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 Obina. This is really getting more complicated. Because she told me that you told her that you've converted a lot of men to be your perpetual paymasters. So, why would you have a lot of men pay to you if you are not into this fraudulent business of 419? I really don't understand that. I only meant clients who have grown to trust us so much. They so trust us they can afford to remit money into our accounts without seeing the product. It has nothing to do with fraud. Yes. I mean, fraud is stupid. I wonder why she would connect me with fraud. Why? What is he trying to do? Oh, oh. <laughs> yes. Let us watch us. This place is a strange land. Hey. It looks like an evil forest. Please come watch more film. Tell me how we got here and what we have got here to do. Hey. <laughs> 
no longer comfortable with this whole thing. Who is manipulating the men of the Oriental Kingdom? Show yourself and tell us what you are saying. It is clear to me that you are a spirit.
are we going to convince the people that we are the same with other people? Hello? Can you explain to me what is going on? My view was, do you know of this kingdom? He's in a better position to explain to you. I don't know what is happening. I am trying my possible best to understand you. What is my business with you? Was he the one that asked me to be I am sorry, Obinna, but I cannot continue with this call, please. You don't dare. Why are you doing everything possible to get me angry? Are you aware that three chains of this kingdom died today? Are you aware? Please leave me with such, such baseless knowledge. How could three chains die in one day? The three chains that died here. Chiyo, Ibele, and they were dead. Can you imagine? Dead? But strangely, the three men that died are suddenly back on their feet again. And everybody in the land is interested in the incident that led to their death and their revival. So I will advise you go and ask questions. And please, I cannot continue with this call. What? Something very strange happened earlier in the day. And I want to ask both of you. You actually understand what happened earlier today? Are we kids not to understand what happened? Please let me tell the both of you. The King and Ono has contracted a native doctor from Obinago in order to intimidate us. In order to bring us down. Listen, I don't know what both of you are thinking. But I will make sure I stop them. Even if it means fighting them with the last drop of my blood. Ichi Ibenebu. Have you forgotten that you were dead persons of few hours ago? Yes. That is exactly what I am saying. Have you asked yourself how we died? And how we came back to life? That alone would have taught you that the king and Ono who are up to something. I am not going to hold my hands and watch him. I will prove to them that any man who has become a masquerade is permanently a masquerade. They tell me, man. I want to be very sincere with both of you. I am no more comfortable with the kind of politics we are playing here. 
we accuse the king falsely. And we have seen the result. So what are we saying? In fact, I am out of it. I had died and then came back to life. What's the meaning of that? The only thing I'm going to tell you now is that men have thought they know so much. It is like it, it, it finally dawned on me and my name. You and your fellow chief die and we brought back to life. That's the question. The king can only look at the contracted the meeting of the Lord in order to intimidate and humble the men in council. Humbled. But I gave him a little gift to them. The only thing I am going to tell you now is that you have to accept the sick as your king. What? What rubbish are you spewing out of your mouth? How can you say that?
individual capacity as a girl of the village. I think nothing for the very last time. Leave my company. Your face is lost. I am not in the habit of facing women. If I was have to start in the house, then we would have something to offer. Not to do back. You're asking me to leave. The reason I believe the people are going to be the people are going to my business in Abuja, my small business. I came down to this place, all the way from Kutu because I was told that all the money I needed in my life was in you and you. I am here to tell you that I am sick and tired of this whole process. I am. Up till now, I have not seen any money. Nothing. What I have seen is that I am gradually being lured into becoming a, a native doctor, helping people, solving problems, even raising the dead. Something I, will, I, I always rejected all my life. It's okay. So far, right now, I have had enough. It's enough. I am standing before you today to ask you the money. The, the, the money. When am I seeing it? When? When? I'm surprised you know about this. Masquerade said I should find this tree and ask of it any time. Is that the reason you decided to move faster than your shadow? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean that. I mean it that way. I need mean one. Things are bad for me. My, my business is bad. It is quiet and bad. Let me just say it. If I find out that in the end I was lured back to this village to come and become a native doctor, I will become such a terrible native doctor that the people will wish I never came back. Let me just speak. I don't know what you're still doing here. It's late and I need to go in and sleep. Since you refused to come to my place, I don't see anything wrong if I decide to stay here. Are you listening to yourself? You want to stay in the palace with the princess? 
Why are you such a terrible man of this kingdom? Why? Jesus, I know you have seen something else, and that's why you disrespect what we share. Can you at least tell me who the person is? you're doing? Locking me from going to sleep. I know the reason you are acting this cold towards me. It's not what I think. It's not what I think. It is what you know. You are into fraud. All one night that converts men into what you call perpetual pain masters. Mm -hmm. I do the same business with your father. I came tonight to put the record straight so you don't make a mistake. If you must forget everything, don't ever forget your name is true. I love you. Good night. Don't lock the door where you are going. Nichi, don't tell me you are not getting what I'm saying. The tree is now ready to make some people millionaires, and I want us to be the ones to grab this money. You are one radical man in this kingdom, and I, I, I love you for that. I don't know why you are confusing me the more. I'm telling the radical man that there is a amount of money to be grabbed, and you are dragging your feet. You see, why are you dragging your feet? I am not going to dabble into the rubbish you call radical, because I know from the deepest part of my heart if you are required to define radical, you're going to fumble. You won't be able to define the word you're using. And so I don't want to go into all that. What is the source of your information? Is this another way of saying that you don't trust me, Odibo? Odibo, there are too many several things happening in this kingdom presently, and nobody is talking about trust. As far as I am concerned, I can tell you authoritatively that even trust itself has become very strange to me. Who told you that this tree is on the verge of giving people money? That is what I want to hear. The revelation came from the same man of Obenago that raised you from death. Listen, let me tell you, Chi. His original plan for coming into this kingdom was to grab the money. Those of us that have lived in this kingdom all our lives should be the ones to grab this money, to become these billionaires. I'm not a stranger, a visitor of Obenago of all places. Coming here to hijack the money. No, listen. This is ungodly. But they will listen to me. As long as you are under my roof, standing here in my living room, you cannot afford to sustain this unjust discrimination between two Binago people and our yeah? You don't have to call the names. Ichi, don't tell me that you have finally joined them. Which people? The people that believe that we're in the same class with the people of Obinago. Have you finally joined them? You don't know my face. In the same class. Hey, listen to me. Do not ever sustain. I have left some things. Very strange things are happening around me. I am telling you now, as a brother, do not sustain this your nonsense argument that there is any difference between the Obinago people and our people. Because we are not. We are the same. We are in the same class. I don't want to go into all that. I want us to discuss how we are going to stop this man of Obinago from coming into our kingdom to grab this money. 
confide in me. Tell me what we're going to do. Okay, I need you. Why? The problem with you is 
Diagnosed of anaphylaxis. That one has been healed. His legs are normal. But the problem here is that he cannot stand without assistance. Medical science has given up on him. And the last doctor that came advised we explore other options. I went to that tree because I was told that healing. Princess, 
who is betrothed to you is now busy moving around the kingdom with a man of God. In your capacity as we've been engaged, tell me, what have you got to do about it? You shut up your mouth. Who is feeding you with such lies? Who told you that? Who is this man of God? If I were you, I would not be busy asking Moses good questions. I would move straight to the palace and see things for myself. And let me quickly tell you, if after informing you and you fail to do anything tangible today, I will confirm the impression I have with this man. Take it from me. Marriage is not my decision now. If you are so much in a hurry to give out your engagement ring, why not go out there and find another baby? She will be very happy to be your bride. Audible, you are gradually going and see. How far are you? Am I the one you are calling and see? Or are you referring to someone else? I am talking to you. Audible, you are talking to yourself these days. What do I tell me? Who is this? What's my name? Probably. By way of uh, interest and by way of education and youth, I'm higher than you. When you start talking to yourself, it simply means you are deceived. It's okay. You just hold it there. Hang on. How much is your money? How much am I owing you? I don't want to. I simply want to educate you. How much is your money? I'm going to ask you this for the last time because if I'm leaving this place and you try to block me, it's going to be the perfect obituary of this your miserable part. Are you hearing me? How much is your money? Yeah? Look at you. Just take a good look at yourself. After all 
understand your education. This, this is where your education has brought you. Ordinary bar in, 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 in our kingdom. That is, you just look, look at your bar, look at your education. If I hold up for this education or not education, you should understand the, the condition of this country. It doesn't matter where you are, whether you are selling it, whether you are running a bar or what. That you see me this way doesn't mean that I am doing it. I just want to retire. Back in time. Time will come. My education will come. I said, I don't have all the time in the world. How much is your money? Yes, you are you, what's stopping from being in a lecture hall? You know how to lecture like this and you are sitting here. Tell me, how much is your money? Let me be I've not even told you on my own level of education and you are saying nonsense. How much is your money? Every time I will come to this bar, you cannot even put on a, 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 a complete uniform that will match you. After your education, you cannot even dress your full self up. Look at where your education has landed you. It was not a bar in our village. Look at, 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 look at. You are coming to educate me. I have not even opened to you. My own prophet. Try that next time, but I will just, I will just stand up. Imagine what I saw. The idiot was already adorned in the food. We were going to have dinner with him. Can you just picture that? Can you imagine the set? The king of Oren Temple. I dying with a man from the land. You said they invited you into the real dining room. Yes, they did. And I declined. Why did you decline? What do you take me for? Some pauper that is not my real dinner? I am whatever they have in that palace, I have abundance of examples. So I cannot descend to the level of dining and dining with some low class identity in my life. Gobina, I wouldn't want us to descend to the level of insulting people of Obina because it has been revealed to me that. Please, I want us to concentrate on what the says. I have not disappointed two of you people. <laughs> One of which people says what is to be like in the night of the Helen will come to the king. And when that happens, there will be peace between Obinak. Women, 
the peace between these two communities. Then for us, yes, ma'am. I want you to ask Maya to give us that peace. I think you are mistaken. <laughs> Truth is better, isn't it? You are asking me. I know for sure. We should be united. We should be ruled by God. Tell me about your father. Or in fact, tell me about your family. Okay. Uh, my father. My father was an integral. Probably the most powerful integral that I ever lived in. He died several years ago, but I can tell you that he is still very powerful. He's still part of the politics. You were talking with. How can a dead man be part of the politics of the people? It's not possible. It was my father who forced me out of the country. I still have my shop there where I sell my merchandise. My father appeared to me suddenly, in fact, practically frustrated me until one day I realized I just had to come back. So far, I don't know why. in urging his son to leave for the job because he had better things to do in this kingdom instead of wasting his time selling bangles and, and jewelries and chains in the job. He was a powerful man of whom he had. Helen called him the strange one. I want to know what you will call him. I can't believe this. What is going on? Your father has appeared to me before. Where? In this palace. He was the one that told me that some elders were holding secret meetings and leave my father to me. He was also the one that told me to make a move and heal my father. What is his interest in all this? Sleeping with the princess. 
I beg your pardon. Are you insulting my daughter? No. Far be it from me to insult her favorite and second All I'm saying is, we shouldn't allow every, every idiot into the palace. They shouldn't even be seen anywhere near the palace. That's my point. Well, Obina, it might interest you to know that as we speak, the king is meeting with his men in council, finding the possibility of declaring him a complete man of his kingdom. I would advise you
then Ubinagu men have been looking for a way to avenge this man's death. How are we talking like blind men? How can we allow Ubinagu man to dwell in our midst? Eventually, he is going to destroy us. And when destruction comes, it is total to your majesty. I, Obinagu men remain Obinagu men. They cannot match with us. And that is my start. Oh, yes. I want to ask you one question. Go ahead and ask me. Do you realize that you are talking about the same man that raised you from the dead? It is my imagination. Of Edu, who is not here present, has accepted this man. Even in Chiego Ebiyefe, who is right here with me, has also accepted him. Why are you playing politics with something like this? No, no, I don't play politics. I am not a small boy. Eh? I know that plans have been made on the high places in order to instill fear into men in council. Your imagination. But as I speak with you right now, many of us have been gained. But I even a woman has refused to be gained. Obinago men remain Obinago men. We cannot match with them. That is my stand. holds you in high esteem. You are an important person. And by the order of the king, I bid you welcome to your new apartment. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. I really don't understand what you mean by my new apartment. Is it possible for me to reach the king and tell him that I am not here to live in the palace? I'm here for something. I can't tell you what the king said already about you. You're a great man. This kingdom is overjoyed by your presence. The king in particular. And he wants you to live close to him. Live by him. Live here. If there's anything you would need, don't hesitate to call on me. I'm of your service. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. The news everywhere is that you fell in love with this strange man from Obinago. So I came to know what's going on. You see, this is one thing I hate about our people. They gossip too much. Hey, they say that this strange man now lives in the palace and that the king has even given him a house. They also say that he has supernatural powers and the princess fell for him after he used his charms to raise three chairs from the dead and also heal the king. You know what I have? I want to get one thing, Kevin. Do you believe that Princess Lin, as in Princess Lin of all people, could fall in love just like that? What do you thank me for? A lady that doesn't know what she wants? Uh, uh, do you think I believe all this? I wouldn't be here if I did. There is a lot of talking and gossip. There's so much news in town. 
And you are my very close friend, so I feel I should come here and hear from you firsthand. Okay, the truth is this. I totally lost interest in marriage because of my father's sickness. But now that the king is back on his feet again, I am beginning to think of marriage. Hey. Mm -hmm. So you concluded that Obina is into illegal business and you don't even want to think about him anymore? You not think about this strange man with strange powers and the so-called superman of Obinago with weird powers? No, I am not thinking of anybody. Good, good, good. Obina is an illegitimate businessman. And you, the Princess Lin, that I know, you wouldn't want to marry that kind of man. I discussed with my father, and he confirmed to me that Obina does the same business with him. So he's not a first star I used to think. I didn't say things were not shown out. The king may be incapacitated, but his boys work every day to remit money into his account. Oil money. The only difference is that we're not registered with the government. But mind you, some government officials are part of this. Princess, Obina personally told me that what he does is called illegal exploitation of crude oil. They're not even registered with the government. So what do you call that? Is that a legitimate business? So are you telling me that the king of Ireland is involved in an illegitimate business. Mind you, the truth is, you're in the palace and you should not speak evil of the king. He's coming. When those that think they know so much would realize that they know nothing. The people of Obinago and Orenitelu are one and the same. As long as you men continue to sit in council in Orenitelu and refer to the people of Obinago as inferior, your land will continue to wallow under a sea king. Healing will come to your land when the king is healed. My name is. How are you doing, Jim? Sincerely, I must not waste time. What is it? Do you know that Omo and the king have manipulated all the elders in council? And it seems I am standing, standing all alone because I cannot agree to their evil plans. Oh, I'm excited. 
excited? Why are you excited? Are you going to the blind man of this land? I'm excited. But how do you know about it? He's telling them. It's all on September. The romance between the people of Obinago and their people is not accepted. Even by me. Because as it stands, I am ready to fight it with the last drop. Yes. I'd like to see you. Tonight, are you coming to my place or you want me to grant you as I'm going back home? Stress is my stress. I have to start talking. Birds that lay the strongest of eggs do not make them still. The filthiness made by other birds to lay their own eggs dead. It takes great courage. Build on a strange foundation. Is it possible that? Who? Forces mightier than you have already made you a new fear. You must trace this tree in real life to see the meaning. Confirm to me that this is Amichi of Ubinago and I'm very happy. Please realize that I'm a friend. Is this Amichi that was arrested as an here for the murder of Chikun Well, I, I don't know who you are. But the said Amichi of Ubinago was investigated and he was released because he was out of So he can go to the CPS and inquire from his friend sign as he can. I am Inspector Silas and I'm calling you because I have a problem. I know you can help me. Oh, Inspector, how are you? What's wrong? What do you need my help? As I speak to you, I'm at the verge of losing my job. Please, please, open up to me. What happened? I know that you are a good man. I will help you. It's not something we can discuss over the phone. I want to see you tomorrow. Uh, right now, I'm not in my job. Actually, you know what? I don't know what I'm doing. Just direct me. Alright, fine. I'll send you a message.
listen. Poisoning the king is no business you hear. Our problem is Prince of Africa. Because you know he is living in an equality system. The moment we get him down, we can succeed in our plan. Yeah, I... Thinking about that, the problem is... I was told that the priest of Africa is always a spirit. Now, how do we go about it? It's the way it goes. Men who wish to succeed. And the best thing we do right now is to terminate him, kill him, feed him on Then we can have him again. I recall all that you told us about the problem. And what your father actually did it himself. And I got convinced. So, what happened? Because I don't think he would just wake up one morning and decide to be this piece of the force. Something must have gone wrong. Tom, there was this lady that supplied us station lights for the previous. I never knew she was dating the air commander. I had an issue with her. And before I knew it, I had to come and meet you with the air commander himself. As we speak, Okay, so what was the issue you had? I found that she was applying to the low quality materials and the price of the original one. I'm talking for more than two million here. Billions of dollars. And I challenged her, she called me a brat. I never knew she was running the market for the boss. It's just my friends. Oh, it's good dream. But let me ask you, are you telling me the truth? Nothing hidden. The truth. Okay. Well, uh, I can't say how this will finally end up. The one thing I can say is that those who strive to hide the truth and punish the just, they don't always end up well. So I'll tell you this. Go back home to Richard. And realize that all the men who are holding this country down, they will soon have reasons to cry. See, evil men are scattered everywhere. But evil shall never, ever triumph over truth. Never. Go on. The reason I said I don't want to be in any man's life is because of your ailments. I was so empty and frustrated seeing you dying sick. But now that you're back on your feet, Again, I am beginning to think of marriage. Oh, that's what you're expecting. I don't have any problem with that. I want to pray for it. But I must ask you, who do you want to marry? Come on, Dad, you shouldn't ask such a question. Sure, I know that the marriage of the princess follows the process. And I am betrothed to Obin Mugeje, which is the first phase of the process. And I am going to marry him to make you proud. I must tell you that my pride is not in me. It's absolutely not in me. The most important thing is your happiness. Your happiness. And based on this, well, I'm asking you to make sure that you are married to be in a location to guarantee your happiness. that you don't like the man. I'm surprised you're talking about him now. Well, father, I said so because I was thinking he's engaged in some illegal business. But now I've confirmed that he will do some business with you. I don't see anything wrong in settling for him as my husband. Uh, well, no problem. The princess must marry the best. Uh, if you are sure that you will be in that case, is the best that you can see. But uh, your happiness is the 
most of that. And uh, to me, the only thing that counts is your happiness. Trust me on that. Why are you toiling with my emotions? Why? I just held a meeting with my father before you arrived and he said certain things. So I think we should not be in a hurry. What did you say? Do you love me? How could you ask me that? If I didn't love you, what would I be doing? That is why I came to engage you. Your, your initial hesitation was born out of the fact that the king's condition was bad. Now the king is fine, he's normal. And I see no reason you shouldn't get married. The marriage must first happen in the mind before it happens in the body. I don't know why we've not agreed in the mind. I don't know. Just, just overcome your fears. I want you to jump over all the problems that you have to down. I want to marry you. I love you. Forget about the intro that was going to put us apart. This thing has been established for years and years. Let's just consecrate what we have. Let's say yes. Yes.
to avenge the death of Ibu Ejikoka. And then you murdered a man that gave you life. A man that gave you life. Did not want to tell you that my family participated in the death of the man of your land? Why must you kill my father? Why? You killed him so that you want him to start to value life. And when he started to enjoy that life, you killed him and your business to make it so painful. You know what? That person is you. Because he trusted you. He trusted you and, and he, he, he accepted you as a son. He told me that he, you have policies for greatness and that he's ready to do everything for you. Anything for you. And yet you betrayed him. I don't see. I hate you. I hate you with passion. I so much hate you. Passion. Yes, you want to. A man that he lets not to defend himself has automatically confirmed that he is guilty. We have asked the Anosia of Obinak in them countless number of times to tell us what he knows about the death of our king, about the sudden death of our king. Nothing. This means that he is the one that murdered our king. This leaves us with no other option than to execute him. Yes, execution. I have invited a man of Obinak 
Mr. Kelly has been around. It's very crazy. We've been coming here to solve this problem for us once and for all. I remember asking you about it before, and you refused to speak. Now you see what it led to. I don't know what to say. I think the best thing to do is to let the elders know. No, 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 Your Majesty. You are the great brother of this kingdom. Your position is an exalted one. You have a say in all of this. That man should, he should not just be left to grow like that. No! He should be made to feel the pain and he should die soon. He should, he should feel the pain. Kill him slowly so he dies and feels what he has done. The Chiego Ife invited you from Obinago Kingdom. To come and defend your brother. And you have the effrontery to come into the palace of the little kingdom. Now tell us what you are here to do. Tell us why you are here. I can tell you. Shh. Are you listening to this just? We already know that our king was murdered. Your brother murdered our king. Now tell us what you do before Abuneka strike. I am speaking on that direction. And your king of Great King, someone in his palace compromised our position. And the king drank from the compromised cup. If you elders can get the way behind the conspiracy. This 
This is the reason I invited this man of Obinago to come and address the elders in council so that we can hear him word for word. The king was murdered by a group of people that comes to him. And not that one man. And the onus of finding the people behind this act is what we're supposed to be doing as elders in council and not looking for people to execute. Now tell us. Who are these people? Who are they? Spain! The assistance of the Christ of Africa. And you did him now. Yeah. I'm going to get one song. Get your ego beef. Let me get one song. Listen, we are talking about this other Africa of another land. We are talking about our own Africa. And I am saying to all of you, let us go and pray. Last time you came here, you made mention of the amalgamation of the beast of the nation. Could you please throw more light on that? Our people have to inspire my kid in work. I am no longer in a hurry to speak further. What do you mean? Our people have to inspire it. I don't understand. The man of Obinago that the men in council arrested for killing our king. If it's not the murderer, then what are you looking for? Obina. Someday I'm going to be part of the ruling class, though I'm not a member yet. But I want to tell you in my capacity as well that the murderer of our king is yet to be arrested. You see, we may make the mistake of punishing innocent people, but when the God of the just rises, he will fight for his people. There is a very strong allegation leveled against you. This is the start of our winning of America. I want you to step forward and swear a oath to vindicate yourself.
in the early days, people who were in charge of what the king eats or drink were made to swear of allegiance that they would never worship the king. I'm beginning to fear that they, all of you that are in charge of what I eat, yes, of course. Your Majesty, this is your special. I mean, you call it special because it's completely made here in the palace. And this is specially made by you for you to celebrate your Yes. Why do you now sound like you don't trust me anymore, Your Majesty? Ah. I don't know, I don't know. But uh, lately, I was still having that funny feeling that the black was ultimately.
I got the charter to a bit more cagey because he was seen as the credible one. But it is remarkable that I later married a man of the world. Well, remarkable may not ultimately be the right word. I think God just wanted to be together. And he did things his own way. And now, finally, Obinago. Already done. I think this is indeed enough. 